Um, hello YouTube, this is me from the Smart Corner, and I'm going to be reviewing a movie that I just saw, and it was Avatar, and the first thing I want to say is, I'm just going to give this movie a 5 out of 5 stars. This movie deserves major awards. If nothing else, it deserves the Academy Award for the best special effects. I mean, it's an amazing movie. But, I'm just going to kind of talk about the whole movie. I gave it 5 out of 5, by the way. That's my review. But, um, the movie is amazing. And it's being criticized a lot on the familiarity of the story, which is basically, Guy goes into a tribe of people, and they and he doesn't know them, and it's kind of a new culture, and he ends up falling in love with the chief's daughter. It's a lot like Pocahontas. In fact, it's, one of the, it's almost the same story, except there's a big battle in the end. But... There's so much depth to Avatar that you love the characters. James Cameron did an absolutely amazing job with that. I mean, this whole world is like a real place. Like, legitimately, it's real. Like, the Na'vi, he created a language, a full language for the Na'vi. He created a culture. I mean, he created, like, deities, gods, all kinds of stuff. And then... A huge planet, a huge area of land, and tons of creatures to put in. And, like, just, I'm going to talk about the special effects last because that's kind of the most minimal point part of the film. Because, I mean, though they're amazing, this you need to come for the story. I mean, you just need to. But, I mean, this is basically the story. A guy named Jake Sully who's crippled is going to a new world called Pandora because his twin brother was killed. And you don't really know why he was killed, you just know he was shot. And the reason that he's coming is because he has the same genetic structure as his twin brother, so he can pilot these things called avatars, which are basically versions of the Na'vi, but they're like mentally, but they're like mentally connected to a human somehow or something. And basically what happens after that is a guy who's played by Stephen Lang, I forgot his name, um, comes and he's like, well, you were a Marine, so I'm going to need you to spy on them. So basically, Jake Sully at first is just spying on the Navi to see if they have a weakness because they're trying to mine for this mineral that their main, that the main deposit is on, like, it's right below the civilization of the Na'vi. But basically, you kind of know the rest. He goes in, falls in love with the chief's daughter, and, I mean, like, then the couple stuff happens. They end up mating, and then he goes back, and then there's a big battle, and the Na'vi end up winning. But the movie is so much more than what I just described. I only described this, I only described it that short because I'm kind of, I'm, don't really have a grasp on how much time my videos take up. But I mean, the movie is so amazing. Like, by the end of it, you are so, like, into this race. Like, I was, like, wanted to go to Pandora. Like, I was like, I'd rather do this than be anything else. Like, I was sad because the movie was over. And you know that it's a great movie because of that. I mean, there are scenes where the movie is so sad, you're like... <laughs> like, you, like, not up in the throat. You, like... I mean, there are barely any weak points to this movie. I can't even, like, review it because it's so good. Like, I mean, there are just scenes in this movie that are so amazing, that are so touching that you just love the movie. I mean, it's a very deep story. And before I saw this movie, I didn't even know who James Cameron was. Like... I kind of re researched him a little because I heard that this was supposed to be really good, but I mean, like, he directed Aliens, Terminator 1 and 2, the only two good Terminators, um, and Aliens, all, and, oh yeah, and Titanic, I think I might have left that out, I'm not sure, but I'd seen three of those four, and I've never seen Titanic, but I know that it was amazing, I probably should do that. But I didn't really have any respect for James Cameron before this movie because, I mean, like, I did it because I know he's a great director, but I Terminator, to me, is not as good as everyone says it is. And Aliens was good, but 
it was not as good as everyone said it was either. So, excuse me. So, I mean, like, I didn't really know who he was. After I watched this movie, I want to, like, give him my inheritance because he deserves it. Avatar is a very original movie, even if the story is very familiar. I mean, he. there's no backstory to this. I mean, there's no... TV shows to base it off of, there's no games, nothing. This is a completely original story. And they just do a great job with it. He just does an amazing job with it. I mean, Stephen Lang, the main Marine, I am scared of that man. Because, I mean, he's like so... The acting is amazing in this film. That's what I'm trying to talk about. He does a great job, Stephen Lang. I mean... He's, like, the bad guy, and he's, there's, like, scenes where there's, like, the kid, they're, like, shooting arrows at the big main ship, and he's, like, all right, shoot the napalm, and he, like, blows up everything, and he's, like, smiling about it, and, I mean, he, Stephen Lang does a great job. I mean, there's, he did such a good job. My aunt, who lives in Los Angeles, she was, like, screaming at the movie theater in the movie theater to kill him and it was embarrassing but that's how good of a movie it is it's like you want the navi to succeed because you're so attached to them like you live with them you breathe with them you eat with them you go through the entire initiation of becoming like a man in their culture or whatever but i mean like and but what they don't know is another part of the story is this might be a spoiler the Navi are connected to the world. Like, they have, like, these, like, tentacle things in their hair. And they can, like, connect to the world and, like, feel it. And that's something that the humans don't understand. And this movie is symbolizing kind of what we do. It's no matter what, no matter if it's wrong or not, if we want something, we can justify it with anything we want. So it's like... Yeah, these people never did anything wrong. They're still on their homeland. This has been their land for a long time. But you know what? We want something, so let's say that they're savages and that they don't deserve it. It's like he's symbolizing what humans are. And I mean, literally, after seeing this movie, I, like, wanted to be an environmentalist. But, I mean, the movie's just great. Jake Sully, or the guy that plays Jake Sully, that's, that's his name for the Nav Navi. I'm still calling him that. He does a great job. I did not believe he was a... He's not a cripple in real life, but in the movie, he does such a good job playing a cripple. And, I mean, Sigourney Weaver, she does a good job. Um, the whole movie's just really, really, really good. But um, the dialogue at points can be a little weak. That's, like, the only um, complaint I have. Like, when Michelle Rodriguez is like, you should see your faces. It's like, mm, no, I shouldn't. Because she just doesn't do a very good job. But, I mean, she's not, like, annoying in that movie, but she, some some of the actors could have done a better job. Let's just say that. But, now I'm going to talk about special effects. The special effects are better than anything you've ever seen. They changed my outlook on movies. First off, the 3D is so good. Like, you know a 3D movie is good when you're, like, going through a jungle and you flinch when a branch is about to hit you. And I did flinch. I was like... I was like, a branch was going, and I was like, whoa. Because, I mean, like, you, it's so amazing. And there's, like, depth in the movie. It's really cool. But it's not just that. It's the Navi and the bugs and the animals. They all move like they would if they were real. And that's something that is, like, completely miss, messed up on by any of the other movies of special effects you use. Like, most times when an animated character is talking, it's like, all right, let us go. Or something like that. But in the movie, they're like, okay. Like, their faces move like they're real. Like, it's amazing. And the world is just such a beautiful place. Everything looks just so real. And the creatures are just beautiful. And I, this review kind of sucked, I know. But I recommend it with every ounce of recommendation I have. Because it is an amazing movie. Like, you have no idea until you see it how amazing the film is. And I'm going to be really surprised if they do not get at least nominated for Best Picture. Because the movie is so good. I mean, I just think that it's just a great movie. And you should definitely see it. <laughs>